A big welcome to Chitterley College and to the High and Ferris Horticultural Show, which has been organised by Pam Webley on behalf of High and Tourism. This is only the second time we've been able to hold this show because the first one was before COVID and sadly everything closed as we all know. So we're just delighted to be able to have another one a few years later and I think as you can see it just looks wonderful and it's a big credit to all the people who've organised it. It's a big event in our calendar and as many of you know we all think so much of Titchley College and all the work that's done here. In the gardens, in Dutchie Barn Garden, we have the Naffy Van serving teas and coffees, all with a 1940s theme because the very first show that was held here in High and Ferris was held in 1943 everything that we have in the Naffy van is based on recipes from the 1940s. The Ministry of Food approved recipes for mass catering. As the Naffy team obviously were serving the armed forces but you also had the WVS who were out serving food to people working the land which would have happened a lot in this area. Food that could be knocked up quite easily with not many ingredients and would fill somebody up for a long period of time so that you didn't want to snack um, with the rationing going on with the limit of food. So we've got classics like corned beef pie and cheese and onion pie. We also have pumpkin scones. There were city girls that had gone out to the farms discovering a lot of vegetables that they might not have had access to so they were then coming up with ideas for recipes to use all of these new vegetables. So all the carrot cakes and beetroot cakes that are popular now actually started then because they realised that by using vegetables it helped make up for the lack of flour and it gave flavour where you didn't have the sugar. So that's why the pumpkin scones are there. I just think, first of all, Chichely looks absolutely amazing, as it always does, and it lends itself so beautifully to this sort of event. I mean, it looks absolutely amazing, really. And land girls, I mean, I, I was thinking about when I was getting dressed this morning about how warm it is, and I was thinking, well, actually, they were very, very warm when they were working the field, so I'm wearing this in honour of the land girls today. I've, I've never done anything like this before. I was determined to, to do it this year, particularly as it was cancelled last year, which was obviously very disappointing, but for very good reasons. I entered two exhibits. I've entered roses and then I've entered some sedums. And I cannot believe it that I've got first place in the, in the other category of flowers. I don't know, I just feel so delighted actually about it. And the roses came first, so I was really pleased about that because they were planted in honour of my dad a few years ago, so it's just nice to put those in a vase and show them off today. We were judging the fruit, the vegetables and the flowers. They were all very good, yeah, yeah. very good because I think this year it's been quite difficult. I grow vegetables and fruit myself. It's been quite a difficult season with cold spring and then we had a hot June and then cold and wet in the summer. Yes. So really they've been brilliant haven't they? It has, yes. Yeah, so some surprising results things in on there. the table. <laughs> yeah. This, mm. You get a homely atmosphere here um, which, which is touching, although you know, High Am and Russia are, are large places, uh, you've got that village show feeling there which, it, which makes it, you know. It's very friendly. Yes it very is. For our horticultural show this year, we've themed it around World War II, with everything themed around digging for victory. Because 80 years ago, there was a horticultural show in the Checkers Inn in the High Street. They had them regularly to raise money for um, the armed forces and their families. HMS Corn was actually raised by the generosity of the people of Higham in 1941. It was like the equivalent of crowdfunding and the people locally of Higham, Rushton, Rawns and Ringstead raised almost a quarter of a million pound to be able to build the HMS Corn, a battleship that played a major role in World War II. Sadly it was sunk 
um, by the Germans towards the end of the war and many, many lives were lost. But we have a log here of all the good work it did. It was involved in the D-Day landings. We have a cap that one of the sailors would have worn. And um, we're just so pleased to be able to add this to the rich history of High and Ferris. Well, here we are in the wonderful 600-year-old walled garden of Chichely College. It's likely to be the oldest walled garden that is still serving a community. Once upon a time, monks lived here and they were self-sufficient and they grew vegetables and fruit and herbs and grapes and saffron. So it all fits in wonderfully with our horticultural show because 600 years ago, in this very place where the show is being held, there was produce grown. There was lots of flowers, lots of fruit, lots of vegetables. Within the walls are what are known as bee bowls. They are recesses where they would have put skeps for the bees to actually live in and they would have gathered the honey and other produce, the wax as well, and they would have used it. It's a wonderful discovery. We discovered it last year on our 600th anniversary of Chichely College. We looked it up and there is an international register of bee bowls and these are in there, along with one in the Dutchy Barn Garden just over the wall.